In this video we're going to look at how to display components within a peak model and how to make use of different colors for these components to best represent the chemical state information within data. A peak model is defined using the quantification parameters dialog window. There are two forms for the quantification parameters dialog window. You can either have a narrow form or you can have a wide form. I'm going to use a wide form for this example and this is because I have a number of component peaks in this peak model so the first table that we see is the regions property page and this is defining a background that is part of the peak model but the components are on the components property page where we get a list of components and these components on the components property page are all color coded using a sequence of colors that match the display in the left hand side so if we want to see which peak is which, we can say this blue one here has been assigned a single bond oxygen carbon. And if I click, you can see that the color that is displayed for the name field and also the component index is used to fill in the component on the left hand side display of the peak model. The colors used to display these components are defined on the color property page of the tile display parameters dialog window and we look at the synthetic components button and it produces a dialog window and it lists a set of colors and these colors correspond to the colors used on the components property page in the same order so we have green green and then the second and third ones are red and blue and then we have this green color so the order here, at least initially, is defined by the order of the components as they are created on the components property page. However, the component index can be used to override this sequence. So if you define different values for the component indices for each of these components, you can assign a specific color from this palette. The indices are numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. And if you specify these numbers in the component index, then you will pick out a specific component color. These components have been set up to have different component index values. So these numbers here, 0, 2, 1, and 4, correspond to colors in this color palette. So if I wish to enable these colors, then there's an option here on the colors property page that says color components using component index. And if I tick this and press apply, then you can see that the colors here change and similarly the colors in the display have changed. So the blue one is now corresponding to C double bond O and the red one is the single bond O while the ring is still green and that's because zero corresponds to the first column if it were displayed otherwise and we can switch between these colors using the component index row by right clicking and it, each time I right click then the color changes and there's another option that's associated with the name field that if I right click here then not only are the colors switched but the display is such that the components are now filled using the colors. If I click a second time then the display goes back to the state where the components are not filled. So I can switch between colors using the right click here or I can fill using the right click here. So we've got name and component index are associated with the colors of these components. This mechanism for coloring components is useful when you've got some situations such as this where we have a polymer where we would like to indicate the relationship between these various carbon atoms and the peaks we see by XBS. So for example here we have a carbon atom that is bonded with oxygen here and bonded with oxygen here so these are single bonds so we'd expect these single bonds to appear at this position in the peak model whereas when we have a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen then we would expect to see a chemical shift that would position the peak here so the state of this peak model when compared to this polymer description 
is not right in terms of colors so I can alter this by bringing up the quantification parameters dialog window and at the moment these are being colored according to the position within the table so A, B, C etc these are determining the colors for this particular display and if I switch these now so that I have the component index that has been previously set up you can now see that I've managed to correlate the single bond with the single bond here so it corresponds to this display and similarly the double bond is blue and the blue peak is here and it corresponds to these carbon atoms that are double bonded to oxygen